Oh gosh. Um, could it be about my topic? All right, so um, for my topic, which was trying to find peace in between the Jewish and Muslim religion, um, I would say that definitely the most important thing that I learned is that in the end of the day, because I was working with the identities and relationships global context, is that religion, for my project, religion is such a beautiful thing and it's something that we should all hold dear to our hearts. And I feel like in 2016 and 2017, when I was doing my project, it was at a very heated moment, especially with Israel and Palestine and the two different conflicts and the two different religions that I was dealing with. And then there's also that huge um, stigma, unfortunate stigma, which breaks my heart, that people say that all Muslim people, all people who belong to the Islamic religion are terrorists. And what I wanted to do, I wanted to discredit all those stereotypes. And in doing so, I really learned what it means to make somebody human. And it was really, it was a really touching project for me. I really loved what I did. And um, I feel that I was able to discredit all of the rumors and negative stereotypes about the Islamic religion and that was really important to me just because now I know what makes us all human and now I know that hopefully peace can be achieved in between not only Islam and Judaism but hopefully all world citizens. I would honestly say that the most it's mm, that I learned I, it's kind of hard because there's so many things that I learned but um I would say honestly that people will always commend the work that you do. It sounds weird, but it's about the exhibition, what I'm talking about. But um, the fact that you spent so much time on one thing is so commendable, and it's not always about the end product. Um, I think more people were impressed with my research than they were with my product which isn't necessarily bad. Um, and I think that that's basically what I learned that honestly, this sounds so cliche, but it's the climb, not the destination. Um, but honestly, it's really true when it comes to the personal project. I definitely think that the one most important thing I learned was self-control. So how to discipline myself with time management in preparation for the IB. And the personal project really gives you a glimpse into the workload that you should be somewhat expecting in the um, diploma program, so definitely. Um, the most important thing I learned, I think, was, um, it sounds kind of cliche, but like how fortunate I really am, because um, like I was able to like learn a lot of little things, like for example that um, breast cancer is the number one cause of death in Hispanic women, and like death by breast cancer um, is like way, it's like above average in Georgia. So like knowing all of these things helped me like formulate a good project, but it also helped me, um, like it just helped me like realize how lucky I am to like have all the opportunities I do have, and also like how lucky my parents were that they like knew what their goal was and they like knew everything they had to do, and that helped them come into this country um, like legally and get all the opportunities that they have now. So um, it like really opened my eyes to sort of like the place I have in this community and how lucky I am to have it. For me, the most important thing I learned from personal projects was um, uh, having the opportunity to talk to how to conduct your, how to conduct yourself when you're interacting with professionals that you don't necessarily know, and how um, your the image that you give out to yourself reflects on you, and how and how that demonstrates that people want to like help you. Communication. I think for me, the most important part of my project, one of the most important parts of my project that really stemmed out to a lot of other points was communication. I needed to, in order to research, I had to communicate to, the, to different gallery owners and to people helping me along the way. I had to communicate to the people that I was working with, to the models that I was working with, and I had to communicate um, what they wanted me to bring out, what uh, what they wanted me to hide or not hide, but what they what they preferred um, to be seen and what they didn't prefer to be seen, and that's something that I really wanted to highlight is that not everybody is comfortable with their body, and communication really brings that forward because we're all human. We all want we all interpret things in a different way, and we want we all want other people to interpret um, us. In, in a specific manner. So after I had to communicate to the models, I also communicated 
with people who came to my to my gallery space, to my little shoebox gallery, because I had to tell them what my goal was, my what my intent was, and what my final product was. So communication was definitely the biggest part that I learned and that really helped me throughout the personal project. Well, my big takeaway was um, creating a science report that you can't really do in class. Like, just understanding how to actually use the scientific method in something that you enjoy doing. Um, that was my big takeaway. The most important thing I learned was actually probably from my research. Um, I knew that poverty was, you know, it's hard, especially for children who are usually more children are poor than parents are um, in the U.S. But I never learned that poverty could actually be a death sentence for people. And so that was something that struck me like immensely. And you know, it's something that you see like riding around in a rich neighborhood like Buckhead. You see a lot of Whole Foods, you see a lot of grocery stores and all that, and you don't really see poverty. But looking at it from, you know, a different perspective, you see that poverty is something awful and it's not just a bank account problem, it's like, a, it's a health problem. So that really struck me as something just crazy.